All right, so whew, let's pick it up with some even more fun stuff. All right, now let's really understand what's going on here. All right, so we talked about the different, all the different colors that are in, um, that are being absorbed, okay? So chlorophyll A is the main pigment that's found in all plants and algae. And um, then we have chlorophyll B. This is, uh, it helps chlorophyll A receive the sunlight. Okay, the, the sunlight energy. So B is funneling energy from A. And then the carotenoids, these carotenoids are what's called accessory pigments. And they also funnel energy to chlorophyll A as well. The carotenoids are the red, orange, or yellow pigments. And um, that's what you're seeing when the chlorophyll decreases in the fall, the chlorophyll production decreases in the fall, um, then you get to see the red, orange, and yellow that's actually been there all year long. But, um, and you wanna think of accessory pigments. Um, ladies, we know what accessories do. They're to draw attention to our outfit. So that's what the accessory pigments do is they help draw in extra light energy and funnel it to the chlorophyll A. So if we're looking at chlorophyll A, chlorophyll A looks like a magnesium spider in a carbon ring web. So here's the magnesium at the center. And there's all these carbons. It looks like a big spider web. All right, now we have our chloroplast and we have a thylakoid, a stack of thylakoids called the grana. In one thylakoid, we have these pigments, these um, light absorbing pigments in here. And so here's our phospholipid bilayer, here's our cell membrane, and embedded in that is this thylakoid membrane. So here's the thylakoid, and if you um, look in here, you can see these pigment molecules, okay? So, and magnesium is at the center of that. Okay, so if we wanted to look at magnesium, let's look at, Let's look here. So magnesium, the question asks, how many electrons does magnesium have? Well, magnesium has an atomic number of 12, so that's 12 protons. And of course, we know in a neutral atom, that's going to mean how many electrons? Yes, 12 electrons. So it's going to mean that we're going to have 12 electrons too. So then we're going to look at, in, there's, in the first shell, we're going to have two electrons. In the second shell, we're going to have eight electrons. So that's only 10 of the 12. In the third shell, we're gonna end up with two in the outer shell, in the valent shell, giving us a total of 12 electrons. And so um, if we look here, here's a visual of those shells. Here's two in the first shell, eight in the second shell. These two, it, it, that's an unstable molecule. It does not, it's not happy because it's got two in there. It wants to get rid of them. So it's going to, and which is good because those two electrons are gonna leave magnesium and enter into what's called the electron transport chain. All right, so the photosystem is a photo, you can, you can consider a photosystem like, um, like a solar panel, okay? What the photo, what system means is a group of, and so the photosystem is a group of these light absorbing pigments that are in the thylakoid membrane. All right, so we have, and that the chlorophyll A is going to be at the center of the reaction center or just chlorophyll A is the reaction center. All right, so we have two different photosystems. We have photosystem one, and photosystem one here and photosystem two. So two different systems. Photosystem one is responsible that you have this pigment um, that, uh, that absorbs light at 700 nanometers, so it's called P700, and it is responsible for ATP and NADPH production. See, ATP and NADPH production. Remember, we said ATP energy, NADPH energy, two different forms of energy. It's like two different kinds of batteries, okay? Both of them store, store energy. Okay, so this is being made in photosystem one. Photosystem two, P600, is at the center here, and this is responsible for ATP production only, all right? Now, 
I want to point out some things here, and we're going to go into a little more detail coming up, but I want to point out some things. I want you to notice the light reactions, okay? So light's used in both of these photosystems. This whole process here is the light reactions, okay? It's not like this is the light and this is the light independent. This whole thing is right here, okay? So water goes into the thylakoid, goes into the chloroplast to the thylakoid, okay? This is where this is happening. Water goes into the thyl is, um, uh, comes into the, the chloroplast and light strikes. So both of those are in. Here's that water right here. Here's that light. So water comes in and is split. Water is split apart. So the two hydrogen molecules uh, get split off here, two hydrogen ions, and it says half of an O2. Well, that's because there's only one oxygen, okay? So water is split. The oxygen is gonna be given off. This oxygen is gonna be released, and these two hydrogens are going to be used, do, 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 do. you're gonna see them used over here, all right? And two electrons are gonna be given off. They're gonna go through the electron transport chain, bunches of different steps going on here. ATP is gonna be produced as a result, all right? Now we're gonna move over here. We're in P700, light is still, we still need light for this reaction. Electrons are still bouncing through, but now we're picking up NADP+, which was from the light independent reactions because these are cycling, all right? So now these have come in to the light reactions. The NADP+, here's our two hydrogens from water from the splitting of water, I should say, binds, one of them binds here to NADP+. It takes energy to do this, and we have NADPH plus that other hydrogen is sitting there. You're gonna see why that's important coming up, all right? That is the electron transport chain. That's where those electrons are jumping all over, transferring all over the place. Ultimately, we're gonna end up with ATP and NADP+. So keep in mind, light reactions are going to include water comes in, oxygen comes out. So that's one part of the equation of photosynthesis. And that's all I have for this. Have a lovely evening.